In a remark, chairman of the association, Lucky Imafidon, said the body caters for people with visual impairment, adding that the objective of the White Cane Safety Day is to sensitize the public and celebrate the successes by members. The importance of this uh, cane guide, or white cane, as the name goes, is, is, a, uh, is a material that we use to navigate our ways and able to identify obstacles on our ways. And it also it means through which other road users, especially the motorists, also identify us and be careful so that they will not hit us. Chairman on the occasion, Reverend G. O. Chime, and the guest of honor, Michael of Yamada, advised members of the association not to give up. They should not give up. That as they continue to work hard, God will help them. We have heard of people who were blind, but God helped them with courage and they were able to break through. My prayer for them is that God should help them. Anybody with a legitimate struggle must keep at it, be persistent, be resilient. The goal may, may just be one more step that you require. So, and when you give up at that point, you just find that, hey, all I needed was one more step. The guest speaker, Professor Ernest Ugiagbe, delivered a lecture titled Bidding Resilience for Differently Abled People Towards a Robust Policy and Legal Development in Edo State, while a specialist optometrist offered words of encouragement. These people, they have challenges. They have some of these movement, some visual they cannot see, some they cannot hear, some they are, they are limp and weak. This is why these people, they are special people. Government supposed to specially take care of them. Grants were presented to some members in primary, secondary, and tertiary institutions while learning materials was announced for the blind in Benin City. There was cultural display and song rendition by School for the Blind and Idia College. Ikmomusa Ugiagwe, ITV News.